This is scary. Just roaming the streets of New Orleans. Would y'all consider this a swamp? Goodbye, Texas. It's a hi guys for me. It's the Tino mocking me every five minutes for me. Hi guys, so right now we are on our way to New Orleans. Right now we're on our way to this place called Summer Moon. It's this really good coffee place here in Austin. Maddie took me last time when, not last time, literally yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were in Texas, but she took me yesterday and it was so good and only I had it So I want the boys to have it because it literally is probably one of the best coffees I've ever had So that's what we're doing and then we're gonna be on our way to New Orleans It's about an eight-hour drive and we have like some stops as usual Dante's taking us to what was it called? Bucky's. Bucky's. It's gonna be fun. He said I can't look up what it looks like so it's I can be surprised station. for the vlog the It's a gas station? Tino, just so you know, I see you mocking me in the you know, oh, getting exposed now. Hi, could I please get one 20 ounce winter moon? Gas is $12 here. That is crazy. What the hell is this? So cute. Oh, sugar pecans. Y'all are such They have one for me. I kind of want a Bucky sweatshirt. I feel like that'd be kind of funny. I feel like that's so random that I kind of want it. Yeah, it's kind of dope. Like people are gonna be like, "What's a, a Bucky pillow pet?" Yeah, as I said, cool. <laughs> so at Bucky's, we got a lot of stuff for a very cheap price. I got this shirt. Oh my god, it's so cute. Pink tie dye, and it says "Feeling those Texas vibes," and it has a little Bucky on it. Isn't that so cute? I just spilled all my Dr. Pepper. Got all over my new Bucky shirt that I literally just showed you five minutes ago. Okay guys, so I just did my makeup in the car and we're at a gas station now. And let me tell you, the weather compared to New Orleans is so different to like Texas. It is like humid. Well, it's humid in Texas, but it's like 80 degrees here because it was raining and the weather like feels a lot like California to me at least and I'm thriving. Okay guys, so we are finally in New Orleans. Um, we just like, just were chilling for a little bit and I didn't vlog, but right now I'm currently just with G and we are driving around New Orleans because this was somewhere I really wanted to visit. Tomorrow is like our big explore day, but I thought Gianni and I should just like kind of take a ride around at night because I feel like it's way more originals at night. It's more spooky. <gasps> we could go to the cemetery. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're just exploring. We're going to the French Quarter right now, so I thought I would bring you guys along. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Jackson Square. Oh my God, guys. I kind of want to get out. Oh my God, it's a whole different vibe at night. This is crazy. Oh my God. New Orleans, the house. Klaus? Klaus, come out wherever you are. Just starts running. It's like, Rebecca! <laughs> this is a spoiler, so if you haven't watched the originals, then skip here. But basically, that center, remember um, where Hope and Landon were dancing right before Klaus died? And then right behind it is the cathedral where um, Davina was hidden. You know, just roaming the streets of New Orleans. It's super nice. So actually. casual. Oh my There's, like, god. Nobody, though. That's, that's it's so fun. No, I like it. <gasps> Wow, look how pretty this oh, is. Oh my god. So if you've watched the originals, this is the cathedral where in the first season Davina was living in the attic. Pretty sure. I'm like 95% oh, sure. Yeah, this is where it is. But over here, I'm pretty sure this is where Landon and Hope were dancing. If I'm not mistaken, it's kind of hard to tell at night. Yeah, this is definitely it with the fountain. Please tell me you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm like 95% sure. It's honestly so creepy. There's like no one out and normally New Orleans is pretty poppin'. So this Didn't is just crazy. Stage? I mean, we're not really gonna be walking around too much right now 
just because we're gonna be coming back here tomorrow and obviously I'll get better pictures during the day, but it's cool just to experience it at night. <laughs> I'm in New Orleans. The cemetery. Yeah, like what made them pick this cemetery right here? I don't know. Oh, oh. my God. This is scary. Oh, chills. It look, look at the walls. It looks haunted. Oh, I want to go. I wish we could go in there. Oh my God. See, yeah, that's crazy. That is so scary. Davina, ancestors. Okay guys, so I'm talking kind of quiet right now because it's like almost 1 a.m. and we are about to go to sleep. Everyone in the house is sleeping, so I'm talking kind of quiet. So I'm just gonna say goodnight here and I will pick up my vlog tomorrow and yeah. Good morning guys, so it is sightseeing day and I'm literally so excited. I'm just vlogging now, we just woke up, we got ready, and it's time to leave. I guess the gang is all wearing blue today. We're all wearing light blue today. So we're all kind of matching, which was very unplanned, but Look. ours was planned. Oh, thank you. Already falling. That's how humid it is here. It's so humid here. Um, it was humid in Hawaii, but not like this. So if my hair looks frizzy, please don't mind that. But right now we're about to leave. We're gonna go to the French Quarter again, Bourbon Street. Um, I think we're going to City Park. We're gonna get some beignets, eat some shrimp, and it's just gonna be a great day. And I can't wait to take you guys along for our little day. And hopefully I see the Michelsons. Doubt it, but I would love to see Klaus just running around with a stick, like Rebecca. <laughs> would y'all consider this a swamp? It looks swampy. I feel like this is the most swampy I'm gonna get. How pretty. Wow. So right now we're at City Park. I went over here. We just ordered some beignets. So we're gonna have our first New Orleans beignets. I just got an iced coffee. So we'll see how it tastes. I'm so excited to have a beignet. I haven't had like an authentic one. I've had ones at Disneyland in the New Orleans section, but I feel like that doesn't really count. So I'm excited to try like an authentic one. Oh my God, Princess and the Frog vibes right now. Okay. These are so like good. It's, it reminds me of a donut. That's what I was telling you. Mm -hmm. Powdered donut. Wow, this is pretty. I heard it. I was like, all right, let's take a seat. It was drizzling. And I was like, all right, let's take a seat. Literally, I was sitting here. We were about to sit and eat our ice cream. It was cream. drizzling. It wasn't bad at all. Now we're kind of stuck, stuck under this umbrella. <laughs> oh my God. Make a U turn. Okay guys, so we just had some shrimp at Mr. B's. And now we're walking around New Orleans and it's so pretty. So I think we're going to these two shops that I really want to visit. One is called Boutique de Vampira and then the other one is Authentica Voodoo, something like that. So yeah, we're just walking around and exploring and I'll show you guys the cool shops. Now we're back where we were yesterday. Look how cool! I'm getting these hoodies. Cute 
update time. So before we went to go eat dinner, we thought we'd stop off by this lake. I don't know the name of it, but it's so gorgeous. Look at on camera, it's so beautiful. But the last time I talked to you guys, we were leaving the French Quarter. But after that, we came home and we just chilled for a little bit. And we just went back out to go get some food. And we stopped by the lake. Um, it's so beautiful. I think we're honestly just going to get canes because it's easy. And we're all super tired. We had a really long day, as you guys saw. So that's the plan. Tino just scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So right Sup, now, vlog. we're going to Starbucks because all the boys know, in order for me to be good for the road trip, I need coffee in the morning. <laughs> Look at the difference in architecture between like this Starbucks and our normal Starbucks. Like it's crazy. So we're getting gas now, and we're about to head on the road. I just got my ice caramel macchiato. Honestly, it feels pretty good to like have like my normal coffee because so far on this trip, we've gone everywhere besides like a Dunkin' or a Starbucks, so it feels nice to just like have this. Hi! Hi, princess. So right now, it is currently 9.50 and we are driving to Alabama, so <laughs> the drive from Louisiana to Alabama is about four and a half hours, so we'll probably be there around two o'clock, and then when we get there, I have to do a meeting with my college counselor, but you guys will see that. All I know is that when we enter Alabama, I'm playing Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> this is a really fun angle. Tino? We're gonna pan to Tino. Tino! 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 Okay guys, so it's now 2 o'clock a.m. and we are about to go to bed. Um, I just want to apologize. I really didn't vlog our first day here in Bama because it was honestly such a chaotic day. I had to do a conference call for college so I could figure out my college and everything like that. Then obviously we're moving Dante in and I also had to film a self tape and it was just a really chaotic day so I didn't vlog. But it was a super long day and I'm sorry I didn't really vlog today but you guys will get more content in Bama in the next vlog. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to stay tuned for part three of the road trip series. I'm pretty sure this will be the second video you're seeing, so the next one will be the third. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys technically tomorrow for me, because it will be my next day in Bama, which is the next video, but for you guys, it will be the next video. That's so confusing. <laughs> Can you tell it's literally 2 a.m.? I'm so tired. Well, good night. <laughs> good night. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs>